We're in the finals of a Magic Origins draft, and we have an awful hand, so we're going to mulligan. That one is also awful, so we're going to mulligan again. That's better, but not great. Or we have had very good luck in this <laughs> in this draft so far. So drawing a land there is also good luck. Um, let's leave with the planes. I mean, why not? Don't have any way to interact early with our opponent, but he also played an island, so he may not. Okay, he's got red too, though, so he's probably fast. Blue has like the least good two drops, and that's we got one of those two, and it's pretty mediocre. Although it can block a lot of the two power. Good, good job. Uh, it can block a lot of the two power guys with renown early, which is nice. So it's a very serviceable. Usually a two mana vanilla one three isn't very good, but here it's just fine. What? All right, interesting. We do it. Get uh, we're gonna take six from that before we can do anything, uh, unless we draw like a disperse. Um, or a claustrophobia, I guess. Um, so, and we did it, so we're going to take more. But we can play the Void Mage and bounce it, um, making him lose the aura. Uh, depends what else he plays, though, if we really want to do that. That's Trample, too, doesn't it? No, just Haste. Okay, Artificer. Yeah, I think I'm going to bounce the Maritime Guard for now. The Artificer can't do anything to us right now. Um, he doesn't have any artifacts, so... It won't do any damage to anything. I mean, it will swing at us, which isn't great, but... We'll, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll go to 12, which also isn't great. But... We should be able to slow things down from here. All right, well, this draw a bunch of lands is actually good in this case. Okay, so we're going to go Void Mage and bounce this. It's more of a nuisance, and we get rid of the card that way. Um, pass. It is good news that he plays auras and stuff because we have two disperses and things like that. Battlefield Forge. Is he actually splashing white? It's a foil one, too. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, we're going to take two, and then he's probably going to play a scary five drop, I'm guessing. It's just my my inkling. Or he'll play his Maritime Guard. And a Ram Roller. Okay, not too scary, because we've got Patron of the Valiant. Um, and we'll end our turn. Down to two cards. We have two pretty good cards left in our hand. I wonder what he has left. He doesn't have any flyers, so we're going to be able to start swinging over once we can deal with some of these things. Anchor to the Aether. That definitely hurts. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we had an opportunity to pick that up, and we didn't. We had enough bounce effects, I think. Ugh. 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 Hmm. I'm just going to take four. I'm hoping we can stabilize here. Look, we drew our card. That card. What a surprise. Uh, do we play Patron of the Valiants again? Yeah, I think we have to. We can also Claustrophobia something. Um, like potentially the Ram Roller. But... I think I just play the patron again. Let's leave one wide up though. So it makes him think we have um Entrouding Mist. We'll play our patron. Watch he counters it. Is he gonna counter it? He does have enough for the counters, the three mana counter spell. Alright, he resolved. And we will end our turn. That news is if he plays an artifact, his Ram Roller, which I'm guessing he has, we just haven't seen them. Is he going to play one right now? And yep. Basically, he's going to play Whirler Rogue, make that unblockable. Yeah, that's GG. Whirler Rogued. 
So maybe we should have put Claustrophobia onto Ram Roller. We would have survived another turn anyway. All right. What do we want against this guy? Hydro Lash is pretty good against him. I mean, all it does is buy us another turn, though. It's really not that great. He does have a lot of creatures, so Bone to Ash isn't awful. I think I'll just bring in Calculated Dismissal again so we can disrupt his early game a little more effectively and cut. I mean, he does have his own Thopters, so making our own Thopters is pretty big. See, I don't really know what I want to cut. I don't want to cut any of these. I need the early plays. Yeah, never mind. There's nothing I want to cut for it, so just run this back out there. His deck's very good, very aggressive. Um, if I had a third disperse, I would have sided it in. Okay, we'll keep this. Turn. We have another good curve out. Um, and curving out in this format is pretty huge. So we have two drop, hanger back, turn three, water courser, turn four, separatist, void mage. Uh, all of which sounds good to me. All right, now we have the four mana to guarantee we'll be able to do that. Um, playing a highland. And we'll cast our hanger back walker. Keep having him in my opening hand. I've never gotten to draw him when I have like a million mana. He'd be amazing if you have a million mana. But we don't. We don't have very much at all. All right, he's going to get some damage in. I would leave him back and put a counter on him, but we're going to play a three drop instead. Our opponent is stuck on two lands, so being aggressive is key. Um, if he doesn't play a creature, I probably won't play our Separatist Void Mage next turn. Okay. If he does play a creature, I will, as you might have guessed. Guardians of Melitus. All right, so Void Mage number one. Set him back tempo on tempo, swing for three. In the turn. Cobble Brute. Oh, God. These guys love us. Separatist Void Mage. <laughs> Bounces Cobble Brute. Swing for five. So, we probably win this one. It's pretty hard for opponents to beat us because even after we run out of Separatist Void Mages, um, we have Claustrophobia and Suppression Bonds. Right, drawing that land is good. It lets us do one more damage if we want. So we play Separatist Void Mage number three. Should have left one wide up. Bounce this dude. He may have a removal spell uh, that we have not seen yet. Yes. Does he just scoop there? No. Right now, he's playing the tempo game on us. That puts him at six, though. It gives us lethal on the board, and we can use one of our removal spells to get through for the for lethal more than likely. Dang, he's got two pain lands. Talk about fixing. I haven't seen anything white that his caves of Coilos would be helping him with, though. Guardians of Melitus. Oh, he's going to play two creatures now? Oh, well, that's not a huge deal. We still have lethal, so we're going to win on our turn. Our three our three Separatist Void Mage brothers will get it done. Um, so we'll just play Claustrophobia. Swing for 
king for six. Well, these have been two lopsided games, one way and then the other. See what happens in game three. Don't think we do anything. Uh, Stratus Walk could be good against him. Now that we've seen that Guardians of Melitus, we already have so many flyers, I just don't think, although that came, we didn't get any, did we? But usually we get a bunch of them, so. On to game three. Okay, another really good hand. I like the way this is looking. We can get white this time, too. Um, you can disrupt his early game with the disperse. I'll get a planes with it, so if we draw Patron of the Valiant, we can play it. Um, and I'll play another turn two hanger back walker, so it's pretty sweet. So we'll grab our planes. And look, Patron of the Valiant knew we were setting up for him. Um, and we'll play... Hanger back walker is a 1-1. Now this time I may actually get a chance to pump it. Uh, yeah, I probably will get a chance to pump it. There's no reason to swing and I have disperse. I don't want to play claustrophobia just yet. Like I want to wait to see if he tries to drop an aura on this bogger brute and then use disperse. So we're just going to leave all of our mana untapped. Um, so we'll just end our turn and then uh, we can make our hanger back walker bigger at the end of his turn if we want to or in response to removal and get two thopters yep that's what we were hoping get out of here i don't want to be infected by his bloodlust All right, so Hang Mr. Hangerback's going to get bigger now. Such a good card, it's just wrong. Okay, so again, well, no, I think I start swinging now. There's no good reason not to. I could make him bigger if I wanted, but I don't think it's huge right now to do so. If we get into like a board stall, then it would be good, but we'd have to get into that first. Cobble Brute. Yeah, I'll swing into that and see what he does. See if he wants to trade with my hanger back. If he doesn't, I'd probably just separate his Void Mage anyway. Um, yeah, let's swing with our hanger back. He trades, we get two Thopters. All right. Um, yeah, we'll play our Void Mage. And end our turn. We're going to swing at both our guys again. There's no good reason not to. Probably, oh, I just realized what I can do with Patron of the Valiant. Well, I can still do it. That's the good news. I mentioned that when I drafted the uh, Hanger Back Walker, but I kind of forgot. So now we're going to go and get some value here. That's only four mana. Right, Patron of the Valiant does make our Hanger Back Walker one bigger, and we end our turn. Finally pulled that off in this tournament, doing something with Patron of the Valiant other than just smashing face. Self claustrophobia available to us if he plays a big threat. I don't think that qualifies as one, um, unless he puts an aura on it. I think I just swing for seven. Oh, man. 
That does that does make me sad. At least we got value anyway and used up a card dealing with it. Okay, so Yeah, we're gonna swing with our hanger back walker. Alright, I'm okay with that trade. Gives us three top topter tokens. He may have Chandra's Fury in his hand, in which case they're all just going to be toast anyway. And his willingness to block like that makes me think he does. So I think I'm just going to play Scrap Skin Drake. Um, and in my turn, Chandra's Fury. Nope, just Cobble Brute. Made up of cobblestones, I guess. That's why he's a cobble brute. All right. So we swing five. Um, I think I play Aspiring Aeronaut, so we have lethal in the air. And I'm going to hold on to Screeching Scab still in case he was just holding on to his Chandra's Fury. I mean, we have enough out there now that, you know, he's in trouble if he doesn't play it. So he has to play it now if he has it. And we saw it in game one, so. Angel's Tomb. Okay. Not the most intimidating. He may play his little dude who will, yeah, now he can kill one of our Thopters. Right, his hand's empty now, though. And that Angel does not have haste. So yeah, he kills a Thopter, kills it dead, and he can smash this for five, but... Oh wait, we still have lethal. What kind of math was I doing? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I was thinking we have six still. So this doesn't stay a flyer, so it looks like we got this. Yeah, let's let him smash this for seven. Okay, drops us to 13, and yeah, then we have lethal in the air. Well, doesn't matter where it is since he's alpha struck. All right, well, looks like we got another 3-0. Um, this deck was much less flashy than our last, uh, my other 3-0 from last week was. Um... And but it still got it done. It looks like we were the last ones to finish too. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Um, I wonder why it's not showing. It sorts weird now. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we got another 3-0, which is good. I'm really starting to get a, a hold of this form, the hang of this format rather. Uh, I had a little bit of a slow start to it. Lots of one and twos for me early, but I think I get it now. So. Uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.